I have said this before, but I'm a, oh, I'd say a fan. I'm, I, I, I like Guy Fieri. I like, well, I like diners, drive-ins, and dives. I'm not a big fan of Guy's grocery games and some other stuff. But I like watching diners, drive-ins, and dives. And I like watching some of the stuff he's done. Like the Tournament of Champions was good because, well, he was just sort of presiding over it. Anyway, I like watching that stuff. The reason I mention that is, is I just like watching Food Network shows. I like watching a lot of them. It's like good ideas and stuff, but diners, drive-ins, and dives. I can see all these different recipes and things I can make. And I go, oh, I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. I do a lot of cooking in the house. So there's a new show that he brought out. Uh, it started in January. Chance of a Lifetime. Is it wrong that I don't care if anyone wins this? Greetings, Dave here, DCPFX. A little bit off topic. I just, I've been watching this. It's now, I just finished episode four. I guess it tapes on Sundays. I put everything in my PBR, I watch it eventually. Uh, that being said, I'm watching a lot of elementary right now, which is a lot of fun, I enjoy that show. So I'm just off on different different tangents, but the wife was doing some school work and I thought, I'll watch this. And I watched it and I'm into episode four and I'm thinking, I don't care if any of the six of seven People win this. Now, it's a dumb show. It's basically someone is going to come online. And if you don't know about Guy Fieri, he's got lots of restaurants all over the place. He's got a new one, which is basically, it's a higher-end fast food joint called Chicken Guy. If you watch any of his uh, shows on Diner Drivers and Dives when he's uh, at home cooking, he has Chicken Guy on his shirt a lot, which is, that's the name of it. So the whole goal of this competition is, is he's going to, who, whoever he chooses as the winner is going to, get the keys to a chicken guy franchise. I'm going to run it for him. I don't know why you need a chef to do this. This is fast food. This is basically management. You don't need a chef. The thing is, of the six people there, they're all unlikable. And I, hey, so-and-so won. I don't care. I really don't. It's not entertaining at all. In fact, it, I read a few articles just because I was, you know, in between fixing machines, looking at a few things. Here's something you can hate watch. And people are coming in, I can't stand her. I can't stand him. I can't stand him. I don't like her. I don't like uh, you have this huge bunch of people to choose from. And a lot of these people that you're seeing who are coming up for, you know, to get this franchise, they've done Food Network shows. They say, well, he was on this and he was on that. And he was on that. And he was on that. It's almost like, which this is what I think they're doing with Food Network Star, which they have for years. You know, Food Network Star won. Can you tell me who won? No, no one remembers. Season two, guy won. And since then, you know, he's bombastic. He's, he's a bigger life character because that's how he's playing it. But some of the other ones who've won, who? Melissa D. Arabian, Damaris Phillips. Now, Justin Warner is quite good. I think he's a great little chef. I, well, little chef, he's just, I'm, he's a great chef. I like what he does. He's got a really good head on him. He's basically Alton Brown version two. So he's got all those facts in his head. And I do enjoy Alton Brown as well. I think his shows are pretty awesome. I love his cookbooks. But they've tried to capture that lightning in the bottle a couple times. That's why Food Network Star keeps going and going and going. Who's the last one I won? Um, Jason? The Southern Gentleman, the bald Southern Gentleman. He's on some, some big, or is it Eddie Jackson maybe? Anyway, they don't get shows anymore. They don't have anything going on because they, they've tried to capture that lightning the bottle the guy fit he was and it's not happening so they're just trying anything and i watch a lot of competition shows like i'll watch you know beat bobby flay and you know, because again i like seeing what they come up with and i'm gonna try that i'm gonna try that but this is just this is a train wreck it just is it's like you have a know-it-all and then you have a sassy southern woman and you have all these things if they were my boss i wouldn't listen to them well i don't know if they sign my paychecks but they're not management material they're not this and uh, even the last episode i watched two people got a really bad rating and you know they sort of stormed off in tears it's like dudes you're running a restaurant like the hell anyway like i say i um 
I watch a lot of food, uh, food Network. I watch a lot of reality stuff. I watch the first season of Survivor. I watch maybe the first 20 seasons of Survivor. I like the reality stuff. It's kind of fun, but eventually it has a best before date. And all these reality shows they're doing on the Food Network are have a best before date. I guess the last one I watched was uh, Barbecue One with Simon and Flay and Eddie Jackson. Uh, that was interesting, but yeah. So I guess maybe it's just... I'm getting older and I just, it's not for me anymore. Maybe that's it. But I just, these people are unlikable. I don't know why or who thought this would be a good idea to do this. Let's put six uh, or seven unlikable people on TV and see who sucks the least. Anyway. So that's it for today. That's just all I want to just uh, rant about. It's just something that I, I thought I just, why? So there you go. So that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all later.